I'm a pretty normal guy. Self-defense is not some fun boxing match, okay? This is about escaping with your life. So, strike, scream, and run. All right, let's try it. It may have been my fault. What the hell, Toby? Come on, you can be Come on. Three, two, one. Stop your eating! And the winner is Andy Bernard with 14 hot dogs. One came up. 13 hot dogs, everybody. Oh, nobody told me we were gonna have hot dogs. Hey, where's Dwight? You didn't hear? Decapitated, whole big thing. We had a funeral for a bird. I'm pretty sure none of that's real. You're not real, man. Okay, Ryan, you told Toby that Creed has a distinct old man smell. I know exactly what he's talking about. I sprout mung beans on a damp paper towel in my desk drawer. Very nutritious, but they smell like death. Everyone was so drunk, I bet no one even remembers what you said. I remember. I blogged the whole thing. www.creedthoughts.gov.www backslash creedthoughts. Check it out. Last year, Creed asked me how to set up a blog, wanting to protect the world from being exposed to Creed's brain. I opened up a Word document on his computer and put an address at the top. I've read some of it. Even for the internet, it's pretty shocking. How's everyone doing? My door is always open if anyone wants to talk. I don't want to talk. I want my laptop back. Nobody steals from Creed Bratton and gets away with it. The last person to do this disappeared. His name? Creed Bratton. In the parking lot today, there was a circus. Copier did tricks on the high wire. A lady tried to give away a baby that looked like a cat. There was a Dwight impersonator and a Jim impersonator. A strong man crushed a turtle. I laughed and I cried. Not bad for a day in the life of a dog food company. I didn't realize that everybody here dresses up every year. Me neither. It's Halloween. That is really, really good timing. Hi. We received the call. I don't know anything about that. We were tipped off about a possible narcotic situation. Here? Hey, Pam. Hey, I got this, OK? Hello, officers. Dwight Fruit, former volunteer sheriff's deputy. Listen, I may have inside information that someone is hiding drugs in this very office. Just pretend like we're talking until the cops leave. Hey, Creed. Hey, so mm -hmm. what are you guys up to? Uh, I don't know. You're the man, buddy. I run a small fake ID company for my car with a laminated machine that I swipe from the sheriff's station. That's some fun stuff. Where's the website going? As fast as possible. We want to start retraining people ASAP so we can hit the ground running with the new system. Cool beans. We're screwed. Who is? Us, you and me, the old timers. I am not old. You are old. You are like a hundred. You're over 40. That's the cutoff. Are you listening to what he's saying? Retraining, new system, youth. I'm telling you, this kid is the Grim Reaper. You deal with this, or you, me, Sammy, Phyllis, the chick hit with a car, we're goners. Yes, sir. Everything okay? Everything's cool, dude. I'm 30. Well, in November, I'll be 30. Hey, good morning. You tell Stanley that I have asthma, because I don't. If it gets out, they won't let me scuba. If I can't scuba, then what's this all been about? What am I working toward? I don't want to blow this. 
And this is what all good law enforcement officers dream of. The chance to solve an actual crime. <laughs> that is Northern Lights Cannabis Indica. <sighs> no. It's marijuana. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Okay, go ahead. A lot of jazz cats are blind, but they can play the piano like nobody's business. I'd like to put the piano in front of Pam without her glasses and see what happens. I'd also like to see her topless. Creed, I noticed you don't have a resolution on the board. What's yours? I want to do a cartwheel, but real casual, like, not, not make a big deal out of it, but I know everybody saw it. This one stunning, gorgeous cartwheel. How's it going? I'm having a little trouble motivating. Look at where you're going to be doing the cartwheel. So look where you're going to be placing your hand. So pick a spot. Mm -hmm. You ready to do this? Yes, sir. You know what? I'm going to stay here as long as it takes. I really appreciate it. I'm going to spot you. I'll spot okay. you. You don't. Go. I did it. You did? The perfect cartwheel. <laughs> OK, good. The rush. That's all I had to do all year. Congratulations. Well, all right, see you tomorrow. Where's your place? Oh, it's on uh, Linden Ave by the quarry. Oh. Cool beans, man. I live by the quarry. We should hang out by the quarry and throw things down there. Definitely we should. Uh, oh. It's a real shame about it, huh? Yeah. Must really have you thinking. About what? The older you get, the bigger the chance is you're going to die. You knew that. Ed was decapitated. What? Really? He was drunk as a skunk. He was flying down Route 6. He slides under an 18-wheeler. Pop, it snaps right off. Oh, my God. That is the way to go. Instant death. Very smart. You know, a human can go on living for several hours after being decapitated. You're thinking of a chicken. What did I say? Hey, cuz. Heard you're having money problems. No, you didn't. Listen, I got the answer. You declare bankruptcy, all your problems go away. Creed Bratton has never declared bankruptcy. When Creed Bratton gets in trouble, he transfers his debt to William Charles Schneider. How would that help, Creed? In Monopoly, you go bankrupt, you lose. You don't go by Monopoly, man. That game is nuts. Nobody just picks up get-out-of-jail-free cards. Those things cost thousands. That is a good point. Bankruptcy, Michael, is nature's do-over. It's a fresh start. It's a clean slate. Like the witness protection program. Exactly. Not at all. I want to work with uh, Jimmy Carter and help build gnomes. Dwight, what about you? I will not be participating, as there is no evidence that charity works. Uh, correction, I give to a foundation that teaches homeless children nautical flag signaling changes lives. Thank you, Andy. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for the preservation of nautical flag signaling. Dwight, you will be participating. No, thank you. Participation is mandatory, Dwight, but you can choose whatever cause you like. Fine, I choose the Global Relief Foundation. Great, thank which you. Which was recently discovered to be a front for the Taliban. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Taliban in Afghanistan. The Taliban is the worst. Great heroin, though. This is so great, huh? We should do this much more often. I, I think we hang out an appropriate amount of time. What are you doing in here? This is the woman's room. You're in here. I pay for that privilege. Okay. I'm a pretty normal guy. I do one weird thing. I like to go in the women's room for number two. I've been caught several times and I have paid dearly. <laughs>